Well, Washington fans have something to celebrate about today. Dan Snyder might finally be gone as he agrees to sell the team to Josh Harris. Josh Harris is the owner of the 76ers and the New Jersey Devils. So there's that. And But obviously, I don't think anybody really cared who was going to be the new owner. All Washington fans care about is that Dan Snyder might actually be gone. And obviously, that's if this all goes through because the NFL still has to approve, which I don't see why they wouldn't. And what a mess of an ownership this was. Definitely one of the worst owners of all time. And for me, I honestly didn't understand the whole Washington brand. And it honestly took me, as an Eagles fan that grew up in 2001, I always saw Washington as just like one of just another division rival that we had relatively a lot of success with. But I didn't realize the whole story and the whole, like, Washington was a classic. When they were the Redskins back then, like, they were a classic NFL team. And in the same conversation, as far as, like, Brandon Networth is like the Cowboys. I didn't know that because of what a travesty Daniel Snyder actually was his franchise. So for me, from just a football standpoint, what came, what came from my head of, of all, like, the just horrible things that have been done under Daniel Snyder the absolute atrocity at his FedEx Field. FedEx Field is an absolute mess. Horrible stadium to be in. They're, they are building a new stadium, to be fair. But yeah, that's a, that, that in itself is horrible. I know Albert Hainsworth got a $100 million deal at one point, and we all saw, all saw how much of a waste of money that was. They had a string of horrible coaches. They haven't had a winning coach since 1992 with Joe Gibbs. They have to go all the way far back. And even speaking of coaches, they fired Mike and Kyle Shanahan. And Kyle Shanahan has been to a Super Bowl since, multiple Super Bowl since. And then there's all the other stuff that I'd rather not talk about, but it has to be brought up. So many sexual harassment cases, most of them involving their own cheerleaders. And obviously the big whole, um, what do I call it? The big accusation is that a lot of it is just Snyder just kind of orchestrated and facilitated a culture that led to all this stuff, even though there are allegations about him personally doing stuff. So yeah, there's that whole thing. He's paid off. There's allegations that he paid off employees, intimidated witnesses like as a mafia or something, bullying those who didn't partake in the culture that he set. Um, he got fined $10 million at one point, I think in 2020 by the NFL for unprofessional workplace conduct. And even if you go back to how Gruden got fired and all those emails, that was from the Washington investigation. So yeah, Dan Snyder, a horrible, from a football perspective, horrible owner. From any any other standpoint, you want to go off just a uh, horrible owner, according to accusations. So he got the organization in 1999. He's had it for about 20, what is that, 24 years now. Complete mess. Washington fans are absolutely celebrating this, I'm sure. Obviously, on the football field, I don't want Washington to be good. But with all this other stuff going on, if all this is true, then it's something that I think the whole league can celebrate if Dan Snyder is actually going to be gone. So we'll see what happens when Josh Harris comes in. Again, I'm not hoping he produces a winning product on the football field. But yeah, man, honestly, I never thought I'd see the day because at first it seemed like Snyder was going to fight it. The whole thing about he had dirt on Jerry Jones and all the owners and all that stuff was coming up, which honestly, I'm not going to lie. I kind of wanted to see how that would play out just to see what would come out about some of these NFL owners. I wanted to see it happen, but it didn't. Snyder, it looks like he's going to be gone. No, I think this is going to be it for him. So what do you guys think about this whole Dan Snyder thing? What are you guys' thoughts on it? And what do you think Washington's going to do from here on out?